so we're here at Beaufort Hobby Farmers Market. We're cruising down the aisles looking for ingredients that we need. This place is uh, has everything because I just went to some like straight up ramen from Japan. We have the Japanese curry. Uh, there's Korean noodles, Japanese, Chinese noodles. Uh, you get a variety of different noodles here. This market was actually featured with uh, Richard Blaze and Anthony Bourdain. That took him here whenever he was based in Atlanta. Years ago on the show called The Layover. Oh, look at this. I've never seen this before. Look at that. Tonkotsu, which I've had their spicy ramen. It's not that spicy, but I think we have to get this. $4.99. Boom. Gonna get this one. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I've had these before. Kind of salty, but these cute little like ramen packets. Just, yeah, I don't know. They just, just add hot water. So yeah, there's a lot of these. There's all the different types of curry they have here. Japanese curry, and we usually go for this one. The golden curry, extra hot. And we still add chili flakes, red pepper flakes when we cook it. So you can see there's a lot of these, and this is a Japanese aisle. And they have all these ingredients. They have a lot of the sauces here. If you want to make like a okonomiyaki, uh, tonkotsu sauce, yakisoba sauce, teriyaki, different types of soy sauce here. There's some aged soy sauce and then you have the kikoman. Yeah, so uh, you got the kyupi mayo and this is actually the one from Japan. It's got the little baby on it and you can see a uh, product of Japan and I guess I've heard there's a um, this is a different version um, and this one is a product of the US so don't know the difference but those are two comment below and let me know if you tried those before now look at this this is interesting sriracha mayo okay so I admit my last name is mayo Julius mayo but I'm not a fan of mayonnaise uh, that QP is probably the only mayonnaise that I really use on the regular if I need to put in like tuna salad, but I do actually, uh, there's a, a mayo called Duke's Mayo that I was introduced to a couple years ago since I've been food blogging and that seems to be a popular mayo here in the south. And then you have this area with some prepared foods over there. There's another area. You got a lot of different ones. You got Japanese Korean mm -hmm. aisle. You got the Korean Hawaiian, which you like to go to Korean Hawaiian because they have a bunch of uh, like the Hawaiian snacks and Hawaiian salts. And then they had the, the Hawaiian sodas as well. You can see here now, watch it. Red pepper. Oh, look at it, it's like the spicy times two, like the spicy challenge, but you can see they have all here, all these um, Hawaiian Sun products. Uh, Odessa usually gets the Lili Koi or the Lili Koi fashion. Oh, look who it is. Which one are we gonna get? This is what you always get here. You want the Lily Koi Ilichi or the Passion? Passion. Passion. All right, let's get these two right there. Oh, she has the make some sinigang here, some tamarind. Oh, and an extra patis, the Filipino fish sauce. That's the one we use in the Philippines. Super salty, very flavorful. Ooh, a little shaky there. Sorry about that. I'm filming on my phone today. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen this one yet before. A powdered one. Kind of reminds me, just add water. It's like Tang. Remember Tang back in the day? Drop a comment if you remember Tang. So there's a different aisles here. The end caps are full of goodies here. The ramen soda different types of uh, sriracha. Look at all these different types of sriracha and sambal. Oh, this like the spicy aisle. Yeah, that's, they got some chili crisp. Awesome, that's the, the bird's eye classic. You got the rice paper aisle. And you can see that, look. It's so funny, every time I come here, I don't want, I want to tell them that they misspelled Philippines. One L, two P's, but, and actually these signs look fairly new. I still can't believe it's misspelled, but oh well. So, of course you got the cosmetic stuff here for 
Filipinos. And then here we go. Mag oh, we do have magic syrup. Odessa's aunt just gave us some. Uh, leave a comment if you guys use this for a specific anything. Because um, we heard we can use it for everyone or everything. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's limited. Oh, okay. This is where we got our ube extracts. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes, yeah, she found the shin black. Oh, and you got the cup noodle too. Cup noodles for if I want to awesome. awesome. I got this one from Kotsu. This is a Japanese brand. It's like $4.99 cheap. I see, what is it, Ninong Rai? Always talks about the Nor chicken. I mean, we've never tried Nor. Might have to try this. Get influenced by all these cooking creators. You always say, chicken powder pare. I'm interested in trying this. I mean, the first ingredient, first two ingredients, salt and monosodium glutinate aka msg let's keep on cruising in college i used to buy like flavored canned tuna because my roommate was really into it look at that and there would be like oh look at this it'd be like this adobo style hot and spicy and we would just literally eat canned tuna flavored like filipino canned tuna with hot rice what's that sinigang ramen what Yo, that's crazy. Have you guys seen ever seen anything like this before? Sinigang ramen. Oh, I might have to I might have to get two of these. Oh wait, if it's shrimp based, that might not be my I used to, I grew up being allergic to seafood, so it might not shrimp might not be the flavor for me. Sinigang ramen, what? You have all these here, the different sauces, the mang tamas, which is the classic for lechon. And then you got the banana ketchup here. And then all the ingredients, all the different soy sauce. Uh, Odessa likes to cook with silver swan, and I just use datu puti for vinegar and soy sauce. But you can see here the classic silver swan from the Philippines. Um, yeah, you got the bagaong. All the different types here. Stir fried. All that. Okay, I admit, I grew up being allergic to shrimp, so bagaong is a uh, very intense flavor for me, but I do enjoy it with a little karakere. Uh, oh, look at this. Boom. Bam, tocino. Another thing they have here are the ingredients for halo halo. So basically, all these different, right here in the makapanot strings or makapanot nata de coco, all these go are ingredients for halo halo, and you can add the sweet bean. And then top it with some uh, evaporated milk. Or there's the sweet beans for the halo halo. Or you could just go ahead and get the premix. So when you see everything in one, this is basically halo halo in a jar or in a glass container. And it basically comes with the fruits or the palm fruit. You top the halo halo with ube evaporated milk, but you can either have one of these if you're just a small group trying out halo halo for the first time over shave ice or you have all these different ingredients here you can try all this and add your own hot spin to halo halo and of course you have the the cheeses here cheese squeeze look at that all that and filipino spaghetti i guess you can buy that in a package i've never tried that before and then you get to all the noodles here all the noodles you can try to make your different pancit. You got the bihon rice noodles and the canton the egg noodles. You see that? Pancit canton noodles. And you also have the little lucky me, like pancit canton, similar to a, you know, instant ramen. This is instant, uh, these are instant pancit packs, so. Oh, and this is where Odessa found the Sinigang Ramen. Let's bring that up. Whoa. You have all the different uh, noodle soup dishes. Then you have all the, the cakes and stuff, all the cakes and snacks. And then you got the crispies, the crunchy snacks here. Cheese ring. I like these ding-dongs. The garlic ones are always good. Oh, we got dried mango, tamarind balls. Never seen that before. 
Oh yeah, these are good. Mr. Chip, Piatos. Um, Janelle sent me some of these before. These are good, kind of like a multigrain snack. Um, boom, right here, boy bawang. These are like corn nuts, but a little bit more airy and not as dense. But yeah, you have all these snacks. Comment below your favorite Filipino snacks. Look at these cheese curls. Uh, yeah, these are good right here. Shout out to Janelle. She sent me these like a year or like two years ago, and these are definitely addicting. Uh, oh, if you want to get the super size one, look at this. Boom. That is a huge one. As big as my head. Gosh, got some big ones. All right, so these are actually some of my favorites here. These are like my road trip snacks. I love eating these while I'm driving. A little spice, a little salt, a little crunchy crunch. And you have here hot and spicy barbecue. And you got the original. So we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab some of these. Put them in the basket. Save them for the road trip. We're getting towards the end of the aisle here. Boom, pulveron. Got the ube, got the assorted. I remember my my uncle would come from the Philippines, or even my mom when she goes, she would come back with some pulveron and some other snacks. Um, this pastillas, pandan, and then I remember my uncle would bring these like um, durian candies that were kind of like milk sticks that were funky and crazy good. Look at that, boom adobo cracker nuts okay this is like overflow this is like all the ramen overflow that they have here they got the spiced ramen from bulldog they actually do have an aisle just for ramen noodles here okay but this is the main room this is the instant ramen aisle look at that just like wall to wall aisle to aisle just different ones stuff i've never seen before i've never even what is that i haven't seen that they got some intense people on there. Well, oh, I think I've never seen any of these before on this left. All these different ones. Drop a comment if you've seen any of these before. Looks like different parts of Asia. And then over here we have all of the the cup noodle ones. Wow, there's like a lot more. Sriracha? That I've never seen that one before. Stir fry rice with noodle what whoa that looks interesting stir fry rice with noodle i might have to try that next time so you have all the different cup noodle on this side and they're not the small ones either they're the big bowls these are the big bowls i have big hands this is a big bowl lobster king noodle so before the cup was only a small section now they've made it entire side and you still have all these so Man, there are a lot of ramen noodles here that I've never even seen before. Oh, look, someone just threw a random chip bag. Wasabi flavor. Yep, you can get some cool stuff here. Look at that. Topoki. Chajang. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. This is like content galore here to try all this stuff. I don't even know how to, what? Kimchi butter stir, wow. Never seen that before. What? Kimchi ramen. Oh, that one, look at that. Japanese style udon. Very cool. Of course you have the classics here. You got the shin red, the shin black. This is our favorite. Right there, shin black. We got the chapkeri. Wow. Veggie. Never seen that before. That China. Whoa. That's the first time I've seen this bulldog have a jajang. Crazy. Wow. What are all these? I haven't seen these before. Fiery? Oh man, I'm gonna have to try this one, I think. Milky soup base, first time. Jajang, 
Cha Chang and Cha Chang Man. Man, there's so many different new ones. Extra spicy. Man, either this is like all brand new or I mean coming here or something I've never seen before. All right, there's so many different new styles of ramen that I've never seen uh, here in this store before or any other store around Atlanta. So if you guys have some favorites, let me know. I do like these cheese ramen. That's another new brand. A lot of Jaja man. Look at that. There's a lot of like different brands that I've never seen. So obviously they've been around in Asia. Maybe. I don't know. All right. I think that might be it. Let's let's check out the frozen aisle and I think we're heading out. We're going home. We could here yeah, look. We can this is what we make use to make cassava cake. We got ube. Check this out. They have some magnolia ube. Ube ice cream. Ooh, ube makapano. That's good. The coconut. Comment if you guys want me to cover some of the desserts, ice creams, and snacks, because there's a lot to cover. I can do that next time. Tell me something else about the Let me know. Thanks for joining me on this Asian grocery tour. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.